Hello to all the wonderful Aptera investors, to my fellow Aptera reservation holders, and our Aptera curious friends. If you have not made a reservation and choose to, please consider using my link below to save $30 on your reservation. In this video, I'm going to recap the ninth week of Aptera's accelerator program. My numbers are based on the March 31st, 7, 12 a.m. update. For those who are not familiar with what the Aptera program is, Aptera is hoping to raise at least $20 million to help them reach the $50 million they claim will allow them to start large-scale production. To be part of the program, you must be one of the first 2,000 people to invest a minimum of $10,000. Once all of the slots are filled, the program will be closed. As an accelerator, you will be among the first to receive your specially numbered vehicle and a few other perks. Aptera is also raising money through Republic at the same time as the Accelerator program. Republic is an investment aggregator that allows anyone to invest like a qualified investor in startups, crypto, real estate, art, music, and more. You can invest a minimum of $210 at $10.50 a share for 20 shares. Investments through Republic are still flowing steadily with 15 new investors this last week for a total of 1,109 investors. They added $19,866, making the total investment received through Republic at $1,278,669. If you invest in Republic and are part of the Accelerator program, they will both count towards your vehicle rank. I have added a link to the Aptera investment page below if you're interested. Now, two weeks after the removal of the deadline for the Accelerator program, Week 9 still garnered a good number of added investment. Aptera has now raised over $12 million and has reached 61% of their goal. Week 9 investment has weakened, as expected, bringing it just under $800,000 in the first week. The cumulative investment graph makes the impact of the change to the program very evident. The boost from the days after the change has softened and the growth has gone back to a slow but steady growth just like after the first two weeks of the program. If we zoom in and take a look at how much money was invested each week, individually you will see that week 9 was still strong. A total of over 1.3 million was added over the last week. This is a drop from the last three weeks of growth in investment, but is still one of the stronger single weeks of investment. This bar graph shows the cumulative amount raised by each week of investors. Overall, this was the lowest amount of investments added by prior weeks. There was almost nothing added to the prior weeks except for weeks one and eight, and the lion's share of investment made by new investors in week nine. Looking at the amount raised each day shows the decline. Week nine had one strong day on the 24th, but after that, the average dropped severely. I don't expect to see the daily investments increase. From here out, we could be looking at a slow rate of investment unless we get some big news. This chart of the number of people investing each day makes that clear. The end of week nine had some of the lowest numbers of new investors per day. Without something to spark interest or urgency in becoming an accelerator, I don't see why we would see high numbers of people investing on a daily basis. The downturn in new investors is easy to see on the weekly chart. It was not a very bad week, but the numbers will continue to trend downwards. But with 90 new investors, week 9 is still the fourth strongest week of new investors. Week 9 saw a continued shift to new investors. 44 new investors joined the program, taking them to from 262 to 306, which changed the percentage from 34% to 36% of the total investors in the program. This shift will probably continue as Aptera has probably tapped most of the prior investors who want or can become part of the Accelerator program. New investors coming into the program is generally better for Aptera as to raising funds. New investors still contribute more on average than prior investors as expected. At this time, they account for 4.85 million of the funds raised or 39%. The average invested per person each week still continues to trend downward slowly but it looks like the program will continue to see the average amount invested decline to somewhere around 11,500. Even with a strong total investment last week, the average was the lowest of all previous weeks with just over $12,000 added per person. The top 15 accelerator investors did not see much action. It seems only BJ from California added to their investment, moving up one spot to fourth place. 
However, BJ's investment was significant enough to boost them six spaces on the leaderboards to get to vehicle number eight. JP of North Carolina also had an increase in their investment. They moved up two spaces to secure vehicle number seven for now. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, like and share to help our channel grow. And below you'll find links to our website, evolveelectric.org, our Twitter and Instagram.